chest as well. Terry follows the current towards the target. It's a really large contact off our starboard quarter. They're headed toward the midsection of that target. 40 meters. Uh, there's a lot of debris around here. 35 meters. What the heck are those things? Slightly to starboard. Out of the darkness appears a knife-edged bow. There is only one type of sub with this distinctive shape. Look at that sharp bow. Unbelievable, look at that. Oh, yeah. They have just discovered one of the fast attack submarines. Oh, my God. Okay, okay, 5C4. Is for a KLK. That is excellent news. <laughs> now, after years of searching, they have discovered two massive aircraft carrying submarines and one fast attack sub. The I 201 was a Sentaka class submarine, the fastest of World War II, with a sleek conning tower retractable deck guns and retractable dive planes. Every detail on the boat was designed for speed. The I-200s could also dive deeper than any other Japanese submarine and could stay submerged for approximately 30 days. Captain Ari Izumi is dead. The war is over. Yet throughout the Western Pacific, confusion prevails. Of course, we were very agitated. There were rumors that we were to be taken away somewhere by the Allied forces. The US Navy takes command of all submarines in the Japanese fleet. They are astonished by the revolutionary technology. The commander of the Pacific Fleet orders five of these super subs back to Pearl Harbor. Our prize crew supervised the Japanese crew and watched them carefully in the operation of the machinery because we had a lot to learn in a very short time. I swept the decks, I dumped the trash cans. It was our home. After a long voyage from Japan to Pearl Harbor, naval intelligence examines the high-tech subs. But when the Soviets learn of their existence, they become a pawn in the burgeoning Cold War. The Russians were after this, the Russians were after everything. The force commander decided he was not gonna allow that. We did not want the Russians to get, a, get any information from them. The U.S. decides to destroy these subs once and for all. Over a two-week period in the spring of 1946, they scuttle all five of the Japanese super subs in deep water. It was very sickening, the moment of the explosion. But, like any good sailor, a job's done, and we've done it. The five subs taken to Pearl Harbor were the culmination of Japan's submarine technology and the last of the Imperial Japanese submarine fleet.